Thanks for staying with us. The ruling All Progressives Congress has continued to move state to state, conversing from vote from Nigerians. The latest is a town hall meeting with the Nigerian youth where the flag bearer of the party says youths will be part of his government to be able to maximize their potential. Joining me to talk about this and just generally the campaign of the APC is the chairman of Southwest Agenda 2023, Ogu, Senator Ogbenga Badara. Good to have you join us. Oh, thank you, madam. So let's, let me begin with, the, are you a member of the ICC? I sort of have information that you're a member of the Independent Campaign Council. I'm, a, I'm the state coordinator of, Oguste, of the Tinobu Shetima Grassroot Independent Campaign Council. Council. Okay. And also a member of the PCC uh, parliamentarians. Okay, so, which is great, which means that we can speak on some of the issues I'm about to raise. Um, speak to us so far, because we've seen the PCC, we've, we've seen PCC engaging. W what exactly has the ICC been doing? Wonderfully. You see, the ICC, that is a grassroots arm of this campaign. That's why they call it Tinobu Shetima Grassroots Independent Campaign Council. We are the mobilizer. We are the onion of the campaign. We are the one that moves around the street to street, door to door, hamlet to hamlet, really evangelizing what APC as a party will do with Bola Tinobu coming into the presidency of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Mm. You know, the PCC is the party structure. The ICC is the Independent Campaign Council of Ashwaju himself, really evangelizing what we know of Ashwaju, engaging and thoroughly engaging the people that we know are going to vote. We don't need to be an APC member. You could be PDP, you be AAA, you could be any party or any non-affiliation. Ours is to continue to evangelize. What we know, APC as a party, with Ashwajibola Metinubu being the presidential candidate, by God's grace coming to be the president of the Federal Republic, what he stands to do for the country, leading us out of this drudgerum. And I want to get to your engagements with the grassroots in a moment, but we understand that, and that's why I said you're, you're probably the best person to speak to this issue. If you because say so. we are getting reports, absolutely, because we're getting reports of um, competition between the ICC and the PCC, and that they're, they're sort of at loggerheads. Um, speak to, how, how true is that report? Speak to us on no, that. I do not say anything um, being a loggerhead issue. It's a complementary relationship. Imagine, I was the chairman, and I say, I not was, he is still now, the chairman of Southwest Agenda, that is Swagger, that really propagates at Tinubu coming out to come and be the president. We started it almost three years ago. When Ashwabji does not even have the mind to come out, we went around let and bread of southwest of Nigeria. We're in Akwai Bomb as well, we're in Edo State, we're in Kano, we're in Kaduna, we are in Mina, we are in Kwara, we are in Kogi, we are in FCT. But to God be the glory, Ashwabji accepted to come out to come and run for the presidency. So through that, that was before even the involvement of anybody. But as you are you coming in, being able to converse around, being able to get people to, for him to get 1,271 votes, I mean, for, the, for him to, to win the president, to win the, um, the primary. Thereafter, you know, the way it's done, now there will be, party will take the structure. It's no longer Bola Metinubu issue. It becomes the party, uh, party property. Now, becoming a party property then that came, the Presidential Campaign Council. The Presidential Campaign Council, which I am a member, you know, I'm the chairman of Swagger National, became the chairman support group for the whole country, and every other person, I mean, being incorporated, almost 4,000 people. So by the time we're able to do that, we look at that, that's a party structure. Well, you know what I mean? We are members of the party, we are the soldiers of the party, but now the Independent Campaign Council now came to be 
to be, this is the arm at which we want to reach out to the grassroots. This is the area where we want to reach out to the people on the road. We want to reach out to people in the hamlets, in our, uh, through our engagement to artisans, through our engagement to all the citizens of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. In the, um, in, in the 774 world, uh, local, uh, local governments we have, including everywhere. So we are able to start to now soldier on, being evangelizing, what the party will do, total engagement. So even we see the wife talking to the husband that was not a believer before. In Ashwa Jubala, I met Tinubu. You are talking to the schools. We are talking to the market women. We are talking to the tailors. You are talking to the butchers. You are talking to mechanics. You are talking to every faces of people in the Federal Republic of Nigeria at which they will have to really know what Ashwa Jubala Ahmed stands for. We want to know his capabilities. We want to know his capacity. We want to know his human endowment. We want to know his contribution before now to the success, to the glory, and to the development of the Federal Republic of Nigeria through its, through its Lagos mini, mini nation. All right, so let me ask you, because you said you, you have been, you have been uh, engaging with the grassroots. Um, you saw the recent letter that was put out by the, the former president, Olusha Gwambasanjo. One of the things he said is that this country is now at its worst state um, in, in the past seven and a half years that this administration has been on. And people, it, when you also listen to people, things are really difficult for a lot of people. So when you go to the grassroots and you speak to them, because one of the things that people have said is that, look, this perhaps will make it difficult for um, the presidential candidate of the APC, Ashiwaju Atinibu, to sell uh, sell himself and sell, sell his message to the people. To, but when you go to the grassroots, what do you hear? No, let me say this to you. Bola Ahmed Tinubu is different from Mohamed Buhari. Everybody has their names. In the present time, President Buhari is, a, is the leader of APC in the, in the country. He is the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Now, we need to now start to compare apple to apple. We need to see, I'm sure you is telling you, I've never been a president. We are telling you what has already done in the past. See what he did in Lagos State, where he has had the opportunity of eight years to be involved in the governance of a state, a mini Nigeria, of almost 25 million people. You can see what he was able to do from 600 million IGR to today get into almost 50 billion. You can see without even having to lose four years of, of government, federal government support, seizing, seizing, seizing the money, and being able to get out of that and make a, a Lagos state a vibrant state. See what he's able to do in terms of the infrastructure on ground before he left, even after he left. Look and see what he has done, the template of governance he has put down in Lagos State. You see, now imagine if he has the opportunity to rule a bigger, a, a, a bigger nation. And interesting you said that because some people, some people see um, personalities and, and they see that, oh, probably they're different. But for a lot of people, um, what they see is party logo, and what they see is APC. And when you say, oh, look, we're, con we're continuing the legacies, we're continuing the party manifesto. So when you speak to people on the grass, that's what I was asking you earlier. What do you hear from them? What do they tell you? Let me tell you, as a grassroots myself, a senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, mm. you know what it takes me to go into election, to win election? The engagement starts from the apathy. You are hearing many things how people are unhappy. I will not deny that. Why are they un unhappy? You can see many mismanagement that has happened in the past. You know, governance is in the continuum. Now, when we are saying this thing is bad, okay, what do we take out of that, the, that being bad? Do we want that being bad to continue? What we know that the, what is the antidote 
to stopping that being bad. The only antidote is to put a competent person. Do not deny that, I mean, there are a lot of things happening in the nation now. People are unhappy. Yes. I will not deny that. But the issue is, do we continue to it being bad? No. How do we then rectify what has been bad? The way to rectify that is bringing a competent person, is bringing a person that you know that have the capability of rewinding and bring it back from, a, from the same system. From the same system into a better system, my Can, dear. And, and that's, can it come, can change come from the same system? And that's because that's where a lot of people sort of have, um, where they, they are sort of skeptical because they see, like I said earlier, just the same, just the same logo. Can change come from the same, from within the same system? And when you speak to people in the grassroots, are, are they hopeful of the capacity of Ashiwaju to change things? They, because they have seen what he has done in the past. Now, as I said earlier, let's compare apple to apple. Are you now talking of him that has done that X, 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 X in taking the indexes? So bring in somebody that has not even done anything near that such. You are only going from fire, from fry pan to fire. Because we need a competent hand at this time to rewind the tools. If you are not going to start, imagine I have, I mean, I go to, I mean, let's be elementary. I did GCSE. I scored AAAA. Now, you now wanted a teacher that needs to teach somebody to take AAA. Are you going to start from a, somebody that doesn't even match the teacher you have used to score it? No. You are going to use a teacher that has the experience that have taught me to take AAA. You want to match that. Now, a situation is bad. When a situation is bad, what do we do? We want it to improve. Where does that improvement come? Let me tell you, being, I mean, the party is just an avenue to contest. That's, the independent candidacy is not in the country, uh, electoral system. Somebody will have to come from a party in order to go and do something. What, who are we going to choose? Are we going to choose the non-competent person that will take us back? I mean, now we are now in 550% bad. Are you now going to, to say now somebody that, now you are going to take somebody that doesn't have the experience from that 50 to take us to 70. Now you are taking, looking some, are you going to take somebody who will take us from that 50 to 20, to 20? Worse. No. You look, you want to improve from this 50. You want to improve from this, this, that it will not happen again. So that is why we need a competent hand. Where does this competent hand among the whole candidates? We have seen the Federal Republic of Nigeria jostling to be president of our country. So now, that's why I said we call it engaging. Now, to engage somebody, you need to talk, late beer is bad, yes. I will not say that. But being bad, what can reverse that bad to being good? Then start asking, who, is it this? Is it this? Is it this? No. Then you are going to tell, how do you then convince them being engaging? You then have to tell them what X have done, what B has done, what D has done. So everybody will now put on the scale of balance. Which was most? I know it's better I follow this. That can, our misfortune can be reversed to fortune. But then if you are in a misfortune situation, you put somebody that doesn't have that experience, what's going to happen, my sister? I put that to you. In that situation, it needs to continue to get worse. We need somebody that's really going to improve, that's really going to put smile on our face, that's really going to the unhappiness will have to change it and it's going to change our misfortune into something that is going to be better for my children, your children, our children generally, and our country will be able to get to El Dorado. I have two quick questions for you because I'm looking at the time and I realize that we're almost out of time. Um, first of all, you have said that, um, using your analogy, you will bring them bringing a teacher who would, uh, if, you, if, teacher, if you, a teacher is helping you score AAA in an exam and then he, the teacher leaves, you want to bring another teacher who can do just even better than the AAA. I'm sure that the other candidates or the other parties, um, um, Peter Obi and of the Labour Party and Atiku of the, of the PDP, they are all, or of the NNPP, their own supporters will also say, um, well, these are also AAA teachers. 
So what makes Ashi Wasu stand out, stand out from these other a, a, people who, who also claim that their own candidates are AA teachers? You're asking a good question. What has been the antecedent? Ask me today, anybody that has mentored. He was a governor eight years in an Anambra state. Now, go to Anambra state alone. Don't let us talk. I mean, like we're talking Lagos, which has gradually governed, and we are will be governed. I'm sis my sister, go and see the balance of scale. In the first instance, is Soludo supporting him if he had made something good on ground? Is Willie Obiano supporting him? As, that really took over the island from him? Is Andy supporting him? Is Ngige supporting him? And look at the people that just, uh, 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 the people you have mentored. Where are they today? What can you talk to in an umbrella state? Now, let's talk, talk about Ashwajibala Metinobu. See how many, let's start from breaking Lagos State into LCDA. From 20 local government to 37 LCDA, 57. Have you seen any of the LCDA not been able to prosper till now? Have you seen any of the LCDA that has not been able to contribute positively to expanding to really do something great? Now, are you going to talk about that many as, as of assembly members that have passed through this and as a teacher? Are you going to talk about the House of Representatives, out of uh, the senators, the ministers, the vice president, and everything you can think of? That has been their mentors. So you can see what has happened. And that's human development. Now you can see the financial re-engineering he did. You can see how Lagos is today. Look at what we are about to enjoy today. We're talking about the Blue Rail. Who started it? Look at the Atlantic City. How did it start? We knew what happened. I mean, my office was under I mean, uh, Bishop Oluwole. If the rain comes, you know what? If the rain goes right inside there, but go and see that it's now a city, a different place. And many things we are talking I, about. I wish I have more time with you, Senator uh, Obadara, but I'm sure that we'll have you over and over again um, no problem. As, as we approach the, the, the election um, just next month. Yes. Thank you so much for talking to us. I said I had another question, but I do not have the time to ask it. Hopefully, we'll have you again and we can talk about that. Thank you, uh, Chairman of Southwest Agenda 2023, Ogun, and also a member of the ICC and PCC parliamentarians, Senator Benga Badara, thank you so much for talking it's to us. It's my pleasure to be here. Thank you.